Just a three wood for Tony Finau here at the short par four. That one is hoiked left, rattling around in the trees there. Finishing hole, par four, second for Tony Finau at four under. So good day for him. Well, 18's quite a decent chance for these guys downwind. Tony Finau made a 25 footer earlier today. This from just inside 24 feet. Not this one. Eight career runner-up finishes for Finau, and one of them being at this event back in 2018, Ridgewood Country Club. Tony Finau back on the tee at the par three. Seven air, pretty much straight downwind this angle. Yep, hole high, well done. Saw that seven air come up to here. Really not much movement in this putt at all. He's finally getting closer to that ball, Doddy, isn't he? Rather than having it miles out on his eye line. I, I think he's going to have a lot more success, consi yeah. consistent success this yeah. way. Get the hands to try and do the same thing throughout the day. the one where Mickelson from the back of the green chipped it all the way off the front. Here now the par part. It's also a slow one. You can't try and over hit these. It's better. Good job, Tony. So Finau stays at four under. Well positioned, just one back from Thomas. Harold Barnett. Tony Finau. Here's our first look at the fourth. Slightly uphill. Flag in the back corner. And they're, they're making easy work of it. They're plenty of good shots. Finishing right there. Playing under par this par three. Fifth easiest hole on the golf course. Tony from way right. And still way right and short. good thing is that it would be back into the wind for him. Oh, gosh. Compounded errors. Missed the tee shot to the right. Left it short from there. Now, Tony Fino at the sixth. At 205 in here. Found the greenside bunker. Oh, and did that. What a beautiful shot. So guarantees his four. It's par five. Playing fairly easy today. A 69. Fino, though, Definitely made a move today. Yeah, so he's been creeping closer to the golf ball, which we like. Another work on the breeze. Yeah, the two shortest back swings on the PGA yeah, on Tour together, yeah. no doubt. So the final pairing out there on this Saturday here in New Jersey, Rom and Finau. Finau, his second here at one. 129. Jack Wedge. Uh, yeah, getting better as a matter of fact. So Greg James and Chuck Green, superintendent. A little bit of right to left slope. He's not going to bother us. He's not bothering to line it up. It's, you're kidding me. Oh, you are joking. The things we see in this game. So everybody misses left. And that goes down there left to right. I, that hole is on like a little volcano. Wow. It's unbelievable. Third round of the Northern Trust. Rom safely on the green. Now Finau. Tony John! That also a five iron. Rom hit five iron. Yeah, there's something about a New Jersey, New York crowd, isn't it? Oh, two good putts. There's two holes. And you know what? I wonder if he's even shortened that putter a little bit. It looks it, doesn't yeah. it? I just like his positioning. Yeah. And his, his approach to it now a lot better. Tony! Go, Tony! Go, Tony! Tony trying the same route. He's trying to lay up the top of the hill. 
Hit an iron off the first, and now here. You really want to actually. That was a literal flick. Oh, oh that helped. There we go. Beautiful. And Tony's asking for it. Stay, stay, stay. But it's only happened pretty rarely in America. That last one was five years ago in, in uh, New Orleans. Uh, gets this one. Putter's looking good. That's a six iron. And it's fallen left on the wind, just at the left edge of the camera tower. That, that's fine, though. Middle of the green here. Make your three, move on. Chance for Fee now to get to 13 under. Up the hill, moving left to right off that slope and then back to the left at the hole a little bit. Oh, he's got it red. I think those lines were too heavy on the ball. Right? I'll tell you what, he's starting him where he's looking a lot right now. Put all that ink on it, it's going to make it heavy. That was the problem? Yeah, it's not going to go as far. I can't think of another golf course on the PGA Tour where the first five holes for the longer hitters are you don't pull out of wood if you don't want to. No. Especially when these guys are twang a long iron, you know, pretty close to 300, these longer hitters. Sure was. Brilliant. Might be some kind of show this afternoon with these two together. Oh, he way went, outside. He, we, he read it and nothing happened. That's what I was afraid of after seeing yeah, Roms. Yeah. Tony Finau. And his second here at the sixth. 514 yards. So Finau. Out of the bunker. And Finau leaving himself a short putt for birdie. Coming here after his round of 64 on Friday. Tony Finau at the sixth. Yeah, reached the par five comfortably in two, so it was two good putts from long distance. 517 yards. Yeah, they got a new tee. They've uh, lengthened it. They put that in the in play actually for the first time today, but they still only had eight iron in, Nick. <laughs> oh, go back another 50. He needs to sort of compartmentalize what he's doing here and not spend too much time worrying about any of it. Go play golf. Go play good golf. So Cam Smith, the story of the day. 43 holes, no bogeys. It's pretty good golf around here. It's, uh, it can get tight in places. Way left. Okay, just in the rough, he'll find that. <laughs> he laid up here uh, in a smart choice. That's just a nine iron left, 153. Yeah, not a bad, oh, it didn't spin back down. I was going to say, not a bad angle from over there either. Able to reach the putting surface in two shots. It was, it was tough, really tough. Yeah, it was almost unplayable. You can choose to take driver, but you're going to be taking on that penalty area. So fairway metal for Finau, 297 off the tee leads, 159 coming in. And that's a, certainly a sharp shot there from Finau, and he's got a chance to pick up his third birdie. That's just outrageous <laughs> is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Scoring is amazing. Wow. At nine. Oh. Who turned off the birdie faucet? Yeah. Finau, he's starting to become automatic. It's not there. Let's go to 10. On the subject of evil, Keith Mitchell got away with seven here. Now Finau. This is a seven iron. Plays up a couple of yards that's going to need to cut, Frank. The wrong club, too. Now Finau at 10, his third. Just chipping this one. Well, that one it had that one big forward hop, and that was the difference between keeping it close to the cup, and you can see as he gestures. Have that for four to 11. Tony Finau for his birdie. 
Oh, John Rahm all over that putt, walked in quickly on it too, Ian. Yeah, I think that's the wise thing to do. Just get in there and have a look, see how the ball's rolling. Well, the lines are so much that uh, similar that John did have to mark and move his coin. Tony Fino. Not nearly the angle, but a good number with a lob wedge. Still in that uh, neighborhood, we saw so many holeouts yesterday, Nick. Yeah, not very often two guys are 54 yards apart, and they're both on the fairway. The Americans won that one. Of course, the Euros went on mm. to win that decisively. And they loved having Tony on the team because they felt he was a birdie machine. None of these can be taken for granted. We've seen too many examples of that. Just a little subtle break right to left, so he played at top edge. To the par five. Let's see if Fina can catch one. A touch of breeze just came up right in their face. Another missile finds its target. Cine cut. Pretty effortless for these two guys, the way they generate that power. Impressive. Thank you very much, Amanda. And now, Tony Finau. This is what he uses really as a driving iron. It's a strong three iron, Frank. Strong three, 260 yards across water. No oh, problem. Plenty. <sighs> Different game, isn't it? His coach, Boyd Summerhays, is on site. I know his son, Preston. Ball in the water at 16, makes bogey. One over the last three. Like to 13. Like it. It's a good lag for Finau. Guarantee his birdie. That's a pitching wedge from the right tee for the first time this week. They've been left the other two days. To that back right hole. Like, oh, hold on. Whoa, Gusta Breeze just popped up. Same thing happened to the group ahead, Dottie. Good shot for Tony. Similar length to the putt. We just saw John Hole. That's for bogey, though. Drops back to 13 under. That's 72, 62, 72. I like 62 tomorrow. Yeah. Just saying. Let's go to 15. Here's Finau. It was a pitching wedge. Needed to fly 139 to get into that portion and right on the money. So much speed. That's a really good line from Tony Finau. That is really good. Just didn't get enough. Yeah, good spot there, though. That's uh, that's absolutely go, ideal. Good chance here for Tony. Well played, a little short. 16. Finau to get within two. And does. So, quite a bit of a congestion there at the top of the leaderboard. Let the fairway sling it back. 295 to carry the left bunker, 305 to reach the right. That's exactly what he's trying to do, Dotty, by the shape of that. Perfect. Just a little wedge left. Good birdie opportunity for Tony. Really is. It's a little chippy nine iron. Slightly uphill. Breeze hurting. Oh, maybe worth a yard or two. Front left hole location. We've seen lots of birdies so far today and oh, sort of dug in and just rolled back. Didn't actually spin back down the slope. Now we're at 17. Where Tony Finau, who's 23rd in the FedEx Cup, puts for birdie. He has finished in the top 23 the last five years. Best finish of sixth in 2018. Wow, sounded solid, didn't it? Yeah. Looked at his driver head, Donnie, yeah. after he belted that one. Going toward the hole to the left side. <laughs> Turning in toward the hole. It's beautiful. Oh, right over the flag stick. I was just wondering the reason why he looked at that driver face, because he's 30 yards behind John Rahm. Made a putt on this green. Finished nine under par. That was the winning score. Now, to get the 15 under par. Mm. Finau. Gathered speed. Wow. That hit, was all because of the speed, Nick. Hit the power slope in there as well. Yeah. The best super season, obviously, winning two out of seven. You have two out of his first eight majors of his golfing career. Finau with a par. Shoot 68. Monday, he will start two back. 
spun all the way back to the front of the green. So Finau, he, JT, Shane Lauer underway. Lauer was getting a ruling. So Tony's going to go ahead and play from 138. And Tony Finau for birdie to get it to 15 under within one. Everybody missing at that side. And then looking perplexed. Saw Sw Swafford do the same thing. And Tony Finau started the day two behind, two tied at the top. It's today the day he gets that second win. Good shot right over the top of the flag, being so close so often. Two, yeah, you know, full day later, pick up the pace of the greens, which has changed. Gave that a lot of break. It's one of those guys who takes the putter back to the room. Some guys just leave there, pick it up in the yeah. middle of the night, roll a few, especially on a day off. Yeah, he said he had a good carpet in his room. Yeah. It's not, it's definitely not a straightforward day today. Finau can see it. Yeah, great view. Drove through the saddle and brilliant, brilliant ball control. Back out to the third. Excellent approach in here for Finau. Chance to get it to 15. Yeah, a whole new approach. Get the heel off the ground a little bit. It's lovely. So if the putter's working today, he might have that chance to win for the second time. 15 under, two off the lead of Cameron Smith. Just 145 to the hole. Yeah, it's a tight little hole here. You have to be careful. Stand here. Stand this is up the middle of the green. Needs to get going. And didn't get it over that ridge that bisects the front and back portion. Throwing darts today. Very difficult for him to get the right speed here, Ian. First off, uphill, and then coming back down the hill. And we heard Dottie mention the greens are slower today as well. Yeah, I was told about 11 and a half on the stint meter, Trevor. Back at the fifth with Tony Fee now. This for par. Just a touch of break out of his right. That's well done there, Ian. That's what he has to do, Trevor, isn't it? Just tidy up those ones like that. And to the tee at the sixth. Well, if you've got the length, par five's always an advantage. I think he needs to take a little off of it, Frank, to make sure he stays short of that water. Left rough not, won't help. I kind of oh. wonder if that water was in his mind there. About 320 to get to it with the wind helping. truly back in play. It's not too bad too because the hole's cut on the right. It's got a good distance in there. Tiny little area in that back right. Going to have to do well to control the spin here. This from 88 yards. Oh, what a great shot. And he's a devout Lakers fan. And there's you know, a little bit of serendipity here. Some nice progress today. Let's go to back to six. That's a big save for Finau after being in trouble off the tee. That is the club. It just stays consistent throughout the day. No fans there today. Unfortunately, the hard getting in here, the weather overnight, nine inches of rain, up at seven. Yeah, that would have produced a roar on Saturday. Vocal and passionate fans were out here before the storm hit. And Finau in good shape off the tee here at seven. It's looking good now. I mean, it's obviously it's, it's short, but it's, it's lovely on line. And he tries to actually, it, I love the move when he... He tries to come down as if he's hitting a draw, but then uses the wrist action to hold it off to hit a fade. So that's how he gets it on the right plane. Putting up a pretty steep slope here, so he's going to have to give it a good hit. Yeah. There's two playing companions, both long putts for par. This is for birdie. Over to the eighth. Fino on the tee of the par five. Oh, once again. Left like earlier. Yeah, just like the par five two holes ago. Caught the tree, Trevor, and has come down. We see the ball in a decent lie. Wind is out of the right, too, so you can use that. Yeah, key is to get this shot in the short grass. He's done it. That's putting into the wind. Yeah, up here into the wind, so you've got to make a serious calculation. Eight. Finau's third from 190 yards, wind hard out of the right. It's got to go a touch. Finau at the eighth. Up and down for par. 
Oh, that was heavy sand there. I don't know what the heck just happened there, Ian, because that was a good lie too and not that tough of a shot. You see there how, how deeply he is dug in there up to the ankles. And a lovely second, Trevor, but that left for six, unfortunately. And we'll check out our Top Tracer technology powered by Top Golf. Finau, one of three, sharing second at the moment. Oh, that's a four iron back up the hill on a great line. Oh, Fantastic yeah. line. He turned a little draw there. I mean, that is an extremely impressive shot. He punishes this, Michelle. Golly. He just punishes. Up at nine. That's Finau for birdie. It's so close. Mm. Just punish for that one. To the tenth. And Finau starts his back nine. This from 200 yards. And it's a seven iron. Wind straight down. Green's so receptive, he can fly it all the way back there. Oh, good shot. Let's go to the tenth. And there's a chance for Finau. Same length to the last hole. Oh, gosh. Finau. After seeing Thomas go long, he's got the four iron. Try and bring it in from the other side. Try and turn it in. It's just hanging a little bit in. I've seen a lot of balls over there so far this week, just off the right edge of the green, but... To 11. Second for Finau. Perfectly after placing it. Got 10 yards of green to work with. Four birdies here today, Trevor. Only six at the 10th and three at the 9th. So just hang on. To 11. This would be a good pass save. Yeah, we're getting to that point with as well as Rahm's playing. Must make. Yeah, it's an interesting... Lots of storylines this week, but no one with a 54-hole lead. It's on his way to making what looks like a big number. Finau at the 12th. It's a good-looking line here. That's a great shot. Oh, you're not kidding. Inside three feet, Finau to get to 16 under. At 12. Finau moves into a tie with Cam Smith for second. At 16 under par. He's Finau. Looking at about 340 to the water, straight down the wind. Trying to hug that left-hand side. Yep. Well, hopefully that's a change for him on the par fives. Currently one over for the par fives today. Now, Finau has not made an eagle all week. Same distance, same club as Lowry. Oh, man. Oh, and got a really good chance here now. And of course, even a chance to tie the lead. Back at 13. It has been 394 holes since Finau's last eagle. Nothing in this putt. And it goes down. And now there's nothing between them at the top. Best of friends, they live at Silverleaf. 14. And Finau. That's a little nine iron on the way. Had trouble here yesterday, went long. Saturday's round, third round. Eight second place finishes since that last win. Maybe he needs to make a long one go down to have a chance here. Just like that, Trevor. That's a birdie for Finau. He moves to 19 under. It must be really pumping. Pinned a little out of the left, and he likes to fade. It's so awkward. Oh, just another one left. Man, that's a third or fourth pull. With yeah, the today. smidgen quicker, wasn't it? it... Blind, obviously. Yeah, cannot see the whole location. Has run up there to took a, take a look. Going on instruments. Where are we? Uh, right over there by the bunker. At 15, he is in the sand. Lie is good. Okay, easy. Tony's putting has been much improved this week. 58 of 63 yeah. inside 10 feet. It's got closer to it. It's got that the heel off the ground now, and uh, obviously changed from the old, the chopstick grip, as he called it, to a couple more index fingers down the size of the grip. S suits that little fade of his. Oh, sure does. It's trying to come back, but hanging out just left of the green. Cameraman. That'll be fine. That'll be just 10 players have actually found the putting service on this par four today. Cameraman. Fino, we could have a big switch here at the top. He's one back at the moment. 16. Just trying to get it a check right on the crest. This is pretty good. 
Really good considering what is happening to Rahm back at 15. Doesn't waste any time. He's played his last five holes, five under. As he vaults to 20 under. And in the tie, perhaps the lead. He's got the driver. And with that driver, the bunker on the right is in play. About 290 to cover the ones on the left. And about 305 or so to reach the one on the right. None of them will be a problem. This is smashed down the middle. Absolutely perfect. 312 yard carry for Tony. 115 yards, perfect angle, all systems go. Great drive, but this isn't his best yardage. And he's come up, oh, he's good 30 feet short, Trevor. Yeah, that's a little weak there. Maybe misjudge that helping wind. Big part here now for our leader. Downwind, downhill, double breaker. He has putted so much better today. Putted like a man with confidence. He's been around now, as I mentioned, since a 17-year-old when he qualified at the Greater Milwaukee Open. Led the field in driving distance with 331 yards that week. On the nose. This is perfect. Wow. Yeah. One eighty-seven gets him over those bunkers that guard this whole location. That's a six iron on the way. He's leaking it out to the right. Ooh, oh, big time. Sand right. Short side. That's pretty darn good. Slice the legs off it. It's got a what big six footer. How clutch. That might be it. Boy, he just drilled it too. Not one to give you that outward expression all that often, but that was a pump fist that could not be contained. Looks like they're teeing off on a castle turret, doesn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. That hilarious. <laughs> Solid, and he walked Middle. after that one. Yeah, as Coach Boyd Summer Hayes will love that golf swing. Perfect. That's a five iron on the way. Exactly how he dialed it up. Yep. Beautiful. This is over. Yeah, he knows it now. Right at it. Tony Finau takes the Northern Trust. Shoots 65 in the final round, including 30 coming in. Yeah, yes. relief. Hey boy. Tom, yep. let's go. <laughs> let's go. Congratulations, buddy. Let's just break it down. It's been over five years, 143 starts, and you just answered the question you've been asked so many times. When is it going to happen? What did it take, and how does it feel? Uh, it feels amazing. Um, I took just about everything I had. You know, I. We got to number 10, and uh, I knew I had to get to 20 under. That was that was my goal starting the day, and um, so you know my caddy Mark says, "Hey, let's turn in the best nine we've had all week," and and I was able to do it. I hit some clutch shots here on 18. This is a tough golf hole, um, you know. And in regulation, I had we had a 20 minute wait, which wasn't ideal, but man, I just fought, and uh, man, this is this is pretty cool to be standing here again and, and winning a golf tournament. A story of persistence, your biggest win yet of your career, and I'm sure not the last. Enjoy this one. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks, Appreciate it. Jim. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.